It all began with a seemingly innocent invitation, a call from a friend to explore an abandoned house on the outskirts of town. Intrigued by the unknown, I accepted, unaware of the horrors that awaited me. The house stood tall and foreboding, its windows broken, and its facade weathered by time. As I crossed the threshold, a wave of unease washed over me. The air inside was heavy, suffocating, as if the house itself held its breath in anticipation. Strange whispers echoed from the walls, growing louder with each step I took. The flickering light cast eerie shadows, making the once familiar rooms appear twisted and distorted. In the darkness I heard the faint echoes of laughter and muffled conversations. The ghostly voices seemed to come from another time, carrying the weight of lost souls. A cold breeze brushed against my skin, raising goosebumps, as if the spirits were trying to communicate their presence. I caught glimpses of ethereal figures darting through the hallways. A woman in a flowing white gown, a child with vacant eyes, and a man with a sorrowful expression. Their translucent forms left a trail of icy chills in their wake, a reminder of their unearthly nature. As I delved deeper into the house's mysteries, I discovered a hidden door in the basement. Intrigued and filled with a mix of dread and curiosity, I stepped through, only to find myself in a realm where reality and nightmare intertwined. The room was adorned with symbols of the occult, and an ancient mirror hung on the wall, a portal to the unknown. Within the mirrored realm, a malevolent force emerged, a sinister presence that fed on fear and despair. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and its whispers carried a promise of eternal torment. I fought to escape its clutches, but the room seemed to shift and warp, trapping me in its nightmarish grip. Days turned into nights as I battled the relentless supernatural forces. Shadows danced in the corners of my vision, whispering taunts and sowing seeds of doubt. Sleep became an elusive luxury, as nightmares invaded my every moment of respite. Sanity hung by a thread as the line between reality and the paranormal blurred. In a desperate bid for freedom, I mustered the last ounce of strength and confronted the malevolent entity head-on. Armed with resolve and a protective talisman, I faced the creature that haunted Whispering Hollow. The battle between the realms raged, and with a final surge of courage, I banished the entity back to the shadows from whence it came. As I emerged from the haunted house, battered but victorious, I knew that my experience was not just a tale to be shared, but a testament to the existence of the supernatural. The chilling encounters within Whispering Hollow left an indelible mark on my soul, forever reminding me that there are forces beyond our comprehension. Join me on this journey as we unravel the mysteries of the paranormal and uncover the truth that lies hidden in the darkness. The wind whispered through the gnarled trees, carrying a bone-chilling aura as I stepped foot into the graveyard at midnight. It was a dare I had accepted, a challenge to face the supernatural. Little did I know, my encounter with the other side would leave an indelible mark on my soul. The moon cast an eerie glow on the tombstones, illuminating the resting place of the departed. I had heard whispers of paranormal activity in this very graveyard, tales of wandering spirits and ghostly apparitions. With a trembling hand I switched on my flashlight and delved deeper into the heart of the cemetery. As I walked along the winding path, a sense of unease settled over me. The air grew dense, as if the spirits themselves were watching my every move. The sound of rustling leaves echoed through the night, raising the hair on the back of my neck. I quickened my pace, desperate to uncover the truth that lay hidden beneath the veil of the supernatural. Suddenly, a chilling breeze swept past me, carrying an otherworldly moan that seemed to come from the depths of the earth. My heart pounded in my chest as I turned around, only to be greeted by an ethereal figure standing before me. Its eyes glowed with a haunting light, and its tattered clothing fluttered in the wind. Fear paralyzed me, rendering me unable to move or scream. The ghostly apparition floated closer, its presence exuding a mixture of sorrow and anger. It reached out towards me with a spectral hand, sending a surge of ice-cold energy through my body. The pain was excruciating, as if my very essence was being drained away. I closed my eyes, hoping it would all be over soon, but instead of torment, I heard a soft whisper in my ear. Help me, it pleaded, its voice filled with desperation and anguish. I opened my eyes to find the ghost's face inches from mine, its features contorted in agony. With a surge of determination I found my voice and asked, 
What happened to you? How can I help? The ghost's eyes locked with mine, revealing a tragic tale of betrayal and sorrow. It recounted the tale of its untimely demise, a murder that had gone unsolved. The spirit had remained trapped in the graveyard, seeking justice and closure. My heart ached as I listened, realizing that I held the key to its salvation. I pledged to the ghost that I would uncover the truth and bring its murderer to justice. As if satisfied, the spirit dissipated into the night, leaving me alone with a renewed sense of purpose. I began my investigation, digging into the archives, questioning locals, and following leads that took me to the darkest corners of the town. Days turned into weeks, and the mystery slowly unraveled before my eyes. The murderer, now an elderly resident, had lived a life haunted by guilt. With the evidence in hand, I confronted the individual, forcing them to confront their dark past. Tears flowed as the truth spilled forth, providing closure to both the spirit and the living. Returning to the graveyard at midnight, I stood before the ghost's resting place, offering my final farewell. The atmosphere had changed, the air no longer heavy with sorrow. I felt a sense of peace and gratitude as I whispered my gratitude to the departed spirit, thanking them for allowing me to be a part of their journey towards the afterlife. As I left the graveyard, a weight lifted from my shoulders, knowing that I had fulfilled my promise. The encounter had forever changed me, deepening my understanding of the supernatural and the power of redemption. I couldn't help but wonder how many more lost souls lingered in the darkness, awaiting their moment of solace. And so, I share this chilling tale with you, dear viewers, a testament to the enigmatic world beyond our own. If you find yourself drawn to the mysteries of the afterlife, remember to approach with respect and compassion. For within the shadows of the graveyard, tales of heartache and longing await those brave enough to listen. As the sun set behind the looming walls of St. Augustine High, an eerie silence descended upon the empty corridors. It was a typical evening, or so I thought, until I embarked on a journey that would forever change my perception of the paranormal. I was no stranger to ghost stories, but the tales surrounding my high school had always intrigued me. Whispers of apparitions, strange sounds, and unexplained phenomena had become part of the school's lore. Determined to unravel the truth, I decided to conduct an investigation, capturing any evidence of the supernatural that lay hidden within its walls. Armed with a digital recorder, a flashlight, and a mixture of trepidation and excitement, I stepped through the heavy doors of St. Augustine High. The vastness of the empty halls seemed to swallow me whole, amplifying the creaks and groans that resonated throughout the building. As I ventured deeper into the school, shadows danced along the walls, their elongated forms taunting my senses. Every corner held a sense of anticipation, as if something unseen lurked just beyond my line of sight. The air grew heavy, laden with an unexplained energy that prickled at the back of my neck. I made my way to the abandoned chemistry lab, a room known for its unsettling reputation. The flickering lights created a disorienting atmosphere, casting eerie shadows on the countertops and shelves lined with forgotten experiments. It was in this room that I first felt the presence. A cold gust of wind brushed against my cheek, followed by a whisper so faint it sent shivers down my spine. My heart pounded in my chest as I began recording, hoping to capture any auditory evidence of the supernatural. And then, as if on cue, the sound of footsteps echoed through the lab. It was an unmistakable cadence, one that belonged to neither the living nor the mundane. Fear coiled within me but my curiosity pushed me forward. I followed the phantom footsteps, each step growing louder and more distinct. They led me to the deserted library where rows of books stood as silent witnesses to the spectral activity that unfolded within its walls. The shelves trembled, books flew off the racks, and whispers filled the air, intermingling with the rustling of pages. A sense of foreboding engulfed me as I listened intently, desperate to discern the source of the haunting. The disembodied voices grew louder, their tone a mixture of anguish and anger. It was as if the spirits of students long gone had chosen this realm to voice their grievances, but the most bone-chilling encounter awaited me in the dimly lit auditorium. As I stood on the stage, a spotlight seemingly materialized, casting a solitary beam into the darkness. The sound of a piano playing a haunting melody filled the air, each note echoing through the empty seats. I could almost see the ethereal figure of a young girl, 
her delicate fingers gliding effortlessly across the keys. My blood ran cold as the apparition turned toward me, her eyes empty yet filled with sorrow. Without uttering a word, she conveyed a tragic tale of unfulfilled dreams and untimely demise. She had met her end on this very stage, her spirit forever bound to the school she once called home. Tears welled in my eyes as I realized the depth of her pain. I promised the ghost that I would share her story, that her voice would be heard beyond the confines of this haunted school. With gratitude in her eyes, she vanished, leaving me alone with a newfound purpose. Leaving St. Augustine High that night, I carried the weight of the supernatural on my shoulders. The haunting I had witnessed had left an indelible mark on my soul, a reminder of the thin veil that separates our world from the realm of the unknown. And so, dear viewers, I implore you to keep your senses sharp and your curiosity alight. For within the seemingly ordinary halls of your own school, ghosts may linger, waiting to share their stories. Approach with respect and empathy, for the spirits of the past hold a wealth of untold secrets.